Members of various faiths stood shoulder to shoulder here at Salam Islamic Center to show support for Muslim leaders. Additionally, they called on elected officials to help put an end to hate speech. It's not enough to just say, that we stand with these communities. Christians, Jews and Sikhs join Northern California Muslims in mourning the loss of innocent lives in New Zealand and calling on elected leaders to fight hate speech. It's not enough to say that we stand against hate. We call on elected officials, we call on leaders. When you're in a space where you hear hate, we challenge you to stand up then and there. Bassem El Kara, with the Council on American Islamic Relations Sacramento Valley, said Muslims' worst fears were realized again last night. Last night, as we watched these events unfold in New Zealand, the Muslim community's worst nightmare had once again become a reality. Pastor Joy Johnson, with Sacramento Area Congregations Together, said the attack on Muslims is an attack on all people. It has been said that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. I would say today that an attack on faith, any faith, is an attack on all faith. Rabbi Seth Castleman asked Sacramentans to branch out, spend time at a house of worship that isn't their own. I invite the Sacramento area community to go out and visit faith communities other than your own. Go at times when they are worshiping, even if it's not your time of worship. Following the news conference, Muslims gathered for the Friday congregational prayer at Salam Islamic Center, the same service where dozens were gunned down in Christ Church last night. And the executive director of the Council on American Islamic Relations, Sacramento Valley, is calling on all houses of worship to take advantage of federal security grants. More details on that coming up in our next hour. Reporting live in Sacramento County, Max Resnick, KCRA 3 News.